Hi, Margie with the Asking Spot, and this is this week's project. It's a cute little coffee table. It's got a little bit of wear and tear, but it is a all wood, apparently handcrafted because there's no maker's marks on it, and it's a little strange. So I think it's from one table made into another table, possibly. All I do know is it's really heavy. So this is a good solid wood. Do I know what type of wood it is? Well, do you? Well, do you? No. <laughs> I gotta start studying up on the types of wood so I know what I'm working with. But um, this one's a big, solid, heavy one. So let's get started. Gotta clean it first because, as I always say, you gotta clean it before you sand it, or otherwise, you're just gonna be sanding dirt and goo into the piece, and it gives you more work in the end. Now, in the center, in the shelf part there was some i think glue seeping up from the bottom so i decided to pull out a magic erase sponge for it and then i not only cleaned that part but i started cleaning other parts of it and wow this thing was filthy i mean this is after i used a degreaser on it and i was still getting loads and loads of dirt from it so yeah cleaning it's a good thing Swear I won't forget this Why do I regret this? In my mind reckless Thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless Anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless Betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open I hate being broken I feel like an ocean Filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion Rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking Reopen the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost never at home need to be strong every breath hold cuz I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost never There's more. You know what you did there, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of sanding involved. Started with 80 grit, worked my way up to 220. Ah, brilliant thing to do, pre-stain before you stain. Yeah, so it's kind of important to stir your stains. Well, I'm gonna let it dry. And then I'm gonna sand it off. No way. What? If this was the look we were going for, it's not bad. Um, but it's not the look we're going for. So, light sand and reapply something different. These are all the things I think I'm gonna need. I got my gel stain, gloves. I'm gonna try and apply it with steel wool. Um, gotta stir it up real well. This is a clean cloth. Doesn't look like it, but yeah, it's clean. 
it's been washed. Stood. That's to wipe off. These might be what I use to wipe on if this doesn't work. say though that I was able to in the corner where the stain was kind of messed up or something was going on um, I was able to apply the gel stain much thicker to cover that because every time I, I put it on in equal amounts with the, everything else it would just kind of gloss off and look weird but what I did is I put it on super dark and then I feathered that out so it would blend in with the rest of it. The goal was to do sort of a black wood, which had more or less a burnt kind of look to it. And I think it was pretty successful. Before we look at the final results, let's take a look at where we started. And if you could, please consider subscribing. I'd appreciate that greatly. And uh, this piece is behind me, but you're gonna see me pop in what it looked like in the finish. Um, I still have to finish doing a wax coat on this and I can get away with putting just a wax coat on a coffee table where normally, you know, I do a polyurethane polyacrylic because this one has a glass top. So that'll keep it nice and protected from any sort of beverage you might put on it. Has it ever occurred to you to use a coaster? Um, no, not that I believe people will use their coasters. The wax will be great to give it some nice depth and still keep it true to its colors. If I didn't have the glass top, I would use a polycrylic on the top because that's one of the only top coats you can do that wouldn't yellow. Of course, polycrylics need multiple coats, so it would be a lot of work on that one, but well worth it. Really pleased with how this one turned out. Coming up, please subscribe. We are got another plant stand in the work. It's all of this time I think I'm going to try and do a black marble technique. Um, also working on uh, some going away gifts, which if I can get those together, they should be kind of sweet and you might be able to do it for someone you know. Uh, that didn't sound right. <laughs> Speaking of mess ups, got bloopers coming up next. Mistakes were made. Ugh, that was a hot mess. Last top and the big plane coming by. I wasn't going to mention that in any of the bloopers. Oh well. I'm just all over and now it's windy and a plane. Ah, it's too much. Uh, I have no idea where I am with this. Hope you subscribe, it would really help out the channel. Speaking of things, it's what? I can't talk. Am I getting toxic fumes? Maybe. Really, really blacker. Why? This is the end. They can't finish it.